What's going on today, guys? It's Stix10 here. We're going to start with some battles in the Kingdom Cup. Just give you some ideas of what's going on in the meta. So here we go. We're up against J-Farm. He brings out Alola Marowak versus Steelix. Uh, definitely a positive matchup for me. Uh, he probably hit a Bone Club. There you go. Bone Club, super effective, but you can see it doesn't do a ton of damage. Uh, that may not have been full power either, but... Uh, and Crunch does quite a bit if it goes unblocked. And so does Earthquake. So honestly, he's in a bad position. Uh, so here we go. We're going to hit a, another Crunch. He's going to block it probably to save his Alolan Marowak. But it's going to go down. I'm going to have to block this one or mine will lose. So we do have to spend one shield. Um, but you can see we've got uh, our Crunch is already charged up. And we can go in. Oh, and we don't get it off in time. So, mistake there on my part. I should have just hit Crunch right away since I was so low on health. Uh, we bring out our Charizard versus his. He hits Shadow Ball. If we did not block that, we would have been in trouble. Um, but we do take him down. We've got our... We've farmed some energy, so we've got Dragon Claw ready to go. He blocks that one losing, using his last shield there. He hits Dragon Claw, which we survive. Here's another Dragon Claw from us. And super effective. We're going to go down, though, here in a second to Mudshot. Uh, he's built up quite a bit of energy, so we've got to watch out for... He's going to hit another Dragon Claw, it looks like. And he'll go down to counters there, our fast move. So we do win the first match. Uh, very close matchup, though. And uh, here's the next one. I lead with Steelix again against Lucario. I've got to get out of there. A little slow on the switch there, could have been faster. So I bring out Charizard, he brings out Bastiodon. He had the switch advantage, obviously. I do hit Blast Burn, though, uh, since I got a little bit of energy on Lucario. And it does do quite a bit to Bastiodon if he doesn't block it, which he didn't. Uh, so Steelix now has the advantage here. He hits Stone Edge, uh, which definitely he may not have Flamethrower or just uh, needs a TM or something. So, or hit the wrong button, who knows, but uh, definitely Flamethrower would have done some, would have done a lot more there than uh, Stone Edge. Uh, and there he goes down to a crunch. Uh, we both have, neither one of us has used his shield yet in this, so he brings out Lucario. I switch to my Lucario. He switches to his Altaria, and here we go. I hit a power up punch. He blocks that, so he's used one shield now. Uh, I'm going to block this one so to save that. And I'm going to hit Shadow Ball here because that will do quite a bit to Altaria. And there you go. You see it almost took it all the way out. So that's definitely something to keep in mind. Shadow Ball is important in Lucario for those type of matchups. Especially if shields are down, uh, Shadow Ball does a ton. And here we go. We've almost got him down. We hit a Crunch. And he uses his last shield, I believe, right there to save his Lucario. And there you go. He wins with a sliver of HP. Uh, next matches, we're going against Zionic. And here we go. We got Steelix versus Marowak. Another positive matchup for me. Uh, we'll see. He's got Hex on his, looks like. So that's definitely positive for me because Hex isn't going to do a whole lot. Here's a Crunch. Uh, he blocks it, and then he switches to Lucario. We need to switch out now to Charizard. Uh, we had the switch advantage, so that definitely is a uh, good thing for us. We're going to farm energy here. Um, do have to use one shield. Uh, we're just going to save all that energy on our charge moves. And right here, I'm pretty low on HP, and so I probably just need to be tapping Dragon Claw, honestly. Because now he brings out Marowak. And instead of blocking it, I just let all that energy go to waste. Which was definitely a mistake on that battle. Make sure if you guys are um, going to farm all that energy, use a shield to, to save it. Or, you know, be hitting it as they're switching in. That way you can get it. Uh, we will take down Marowak here. Crunching away. We have no shields. And, my, and I did make a mistake there. I had a little bit of energy, so I should have uh, went for the Earthquake because that would have taken him out pretty much. 
Um, but he does take us out here with a crunch. And then we bring out our Lucario, which is a positive matchup. I have a little bit of glitch there. And then he hits a Earthquake, and that's game over. So his Steelix did win the day there. Uh, mistake on my part not to go for Earthquake next battle. Uh, so we've got uh, Dragonair versus Steelix as a starter. Um, so obviously I want to see how much Aqua Tail is going to do. It does do quite a bit actually. Um, so I do need to be aware of that and block those. Uh, that was the main thing. I wanted to see how much it would do and how quickly he's getting to those Aqua Tails. Um, because there you go. He's done two now. And I've only and there's my second crunch. Uh, he does not block it, so he does go down. We do win that matchup one v one shield, um, but Lucario takes us out coming in, and has built up a little bit of energy. Uh, he switches to Lapras. We switch to our Lucario. He hits a Surf, um, and his it looks like he has Ice Shard or. It looks like Ice Shard on his Lapras. It is definitely not Water Gun. So that's important to know for later matches. Um, just that he has Ice Shard on his. And so there my Lucario almost has no health. But we are able to get off a Power Up Punch. And that wins us the game there with a sliver of HP. It does matter. I mean, your HP is important. Your IVs are important in some of these matches. Just how how close those two are uh, in that. So we've got Altaria versus Charizard. Uh, he switches out after gaining some energy on his Charizard. So important to know for later in the match that he already has that energy built up. And then we hit another Sky Attack. And he uses a shield, I do believe. And there's our, sh our shield against that Surf. Okay, we're going to switch out here to Blaziken. Um, and we're going to block that surf because that would have probably knocked us out. Um, so we've used both of our shields, but we took down Lapras. And now he brings out Charizard with his Dragon Claw powered up. So there you go. And we get off a, a Brave Bird. And he's going to hit a Dragon Claw here, it looks like. And we're going to go down to the Dragon Claw. We bring out Altaria, take down Charizard. We don't have very much HP left, but we did get a little damage on his Lucario there. But unfortunately, our last Mon was Lapras. So not a good matchup for us, especially with no shields remaining. He's just going to take us down. And that's the end of that. We lost. So, here's next battles against one of the Bracket 5 members. We've got uh, Lapras v. Charizard. Uh, this Lapras has Ice Shard on it as its uh, fast move. Just testing that out. I've got another one that has Water Guns, so we'll also test that later on and see if I like it better. Obviously, it would have done better against Charizard, but it was doing pretty good. Uh, we let our, our Lapras fall to Lucario and here we go we're gonna hit a sky attack and we hit a there you go and he's gonna hit a power up punch I do believe because he hasn't had enough time to charge up a shadow ball and he goes down to our fast moves there and we've got Lapras we're gonna hit a sky attack into Lapras at least try to get a shield and then he doesn't shield, so we do do we do about half damage there. And here's our Lucario coming out. It's going to be a pretty good matchup for us, obviously. And there's our power up punch, and then we go for the shadow ball. So I'm saying, if you guys don't have a shadow ball on your Lucario, you definitely need it. Um, definitely going to do a lot better than some of the other. Um, it's just going to help you in certain situations like that where you're going up against flying types because it's going to be doing neutral damage instead of that, instead of uh, resisted. So here you go. We got the switch advantage there, and uh, or he got the switch advantage, I guess. Uh, so we've got Altaria versus Lucario. We use a shield, 
And then we hit a shadow ball. Let's see if we can get it to knock out. Oh, nope, he blocked it. So he used both shields on his Altaria. Um, definitely just pay attention to how long they've... Uh, try to count moves, or at least know how long it's going to take to get to uh, certain charge moves, like Power Up Punch versus Shadow Ball is quite a bit of difference. So just make sure you're going... You're, you don't necessarily have to block the first power up punch uh, if you're using Altaria, but you do have to block the second move. I think if it's uh, if you think it's been long enough to be Shadow Ball, because it's going to do quite a bit. So here we go. We hit an Earthquake versus Lapras. It does quite a bit, and we're able to actually win that battle there, uh, which puts us in a positive matchup here. Um, definitely another mistake was me going for a Crunch instead of going. We have no shield, so I should have went all the way to Earthquake. I thought I was getting low on HP, but I definitely had enough time to get to Earthquake, and that could have ended the battle a lot earlier. But luckily, in the back, we've got Charizard. So this is a positive matchup for us, um, as long as I can get to Blast Burn, which I should be able to fairly quickly. And there we go. We hit Blast Burn, and that's the end of that. Um, so definitely uh, knowing how long, how long you're going to survive something and that you have the energy advantage is important especially in that one so here i've got i've got the advantage now i have switch advantage i can go i actually hit a dragon claw try to bait a shield out he does not use a shield uh, altaria can tank one dragon claw so that's something important to know and then i switch into steelix so his charge move doesn't do a whole lot against me we're gonna hit crunches uh, he's going to have to use a shield here. Uh, he actually doesn't, so his Altaria goes down fairly quickly. He brings out Lucario. I'm actually stuck in this matchup now because of the switch clock is still going on. Uh, so I hit Dragon Claw, or actually, I hit Dragon Claw now. I could have hit it as soon as I came out. Um, and there we use a shield to try to... We kind of lag here for a second, and there it goes. It catches up, and there we go. We hit another Dragon Claw to finish off the Lucario and do a little bit of damage there to Steelix, and we bring out Lucario, so good matchup here for us. We still had a shield, so that's definitely going to be a win for us. Uh, he actually does still have a shield as well. So there you go, power up punch into him, and now he's going to hit a, a crunch into me. Doesn't do a whole lot, and there he goes, down for the count. So there's some practice battles for you guys to see. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you did, like, subscribe. You guys know what to do. Thanks again for watching these videos. Hopefully you guys are enjoying Kingdom Cup. Let me know in the comments below what, uh, what Mon you guys are uh, really enjoying using in Kingdom Cup. Thanks again, guys.